Hey everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Greenlight Weekend Podcast. Episode 80 as a matter of fact. Number 80. Number 80. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. We had our two friends Jason Bomforth and David Oakley on the show. It was a wild one. It was weird. We go all over the place. There was a little bit of talking over each other, but it could have been worse. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. No. We were screaming. Yeah. We were planning on having David over to talk about his trip, and then Jason just kind of happened to be around, so he joined us, and yeah, it was a free-for-all kind of. Good conversations. Yeah. We talked about really high turtles conversations. and some more risky topics. Badgers. Badgers. Some yeah. Really random wild things. Wildlife talk. There was a turtle talk segment. <laughs> turtle talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We talked about all kinds of things. Um, we got really high. Yeah. I think that was uh, the reason for all the weird conversations. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed this conversation, you want to see these two gentlemen do stand up comedy, you can see them at the ranch every Thursday and various shows throughout town. Um, you can find us here every week. Find us at, at GLW underscore podcast on Instagram, Greenlight Weekend on Facebook and YouTube, and Greenlight Weekend at gmail dot com. What else, Phil? Trip, hip hop trip on SoundCloud at hip hop trip. His name is Ethan Esparza. He's a rapper. He is the soundtrack of the Greenlight Weekend podcast. What Boom. else do we got? The at whiskey Evo laughs. Oh well, yeah. Tell about. Tell him about the Whiskey Reel. Oh, the Whiskey Reel podcast. Our good friend Sean Moe and his compadres podcast. They're Durango based. Good podcast. I enjoys it. Um, I think that's about all we got. Animus Marketing in Durango. If you have any marketing needs, social media and otherwise. Yep. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Thanks for listening. See ya. Let me tell you something real quick. Flipping through the pages of a notebook, dope hooks, old school shit, get your dome shook, no luck. Oh no no yeah, can you feel what I'm saying? Rhyme slanging, uh huh, beat banging from the pavement to the backwoods. Put your hands down if you're trying to act hood. I don't care about your steez or how you be swagging. Punks moving backwards, I'm sitting back laughing, laughing, like what happened to the world? That was pretty fucking loud. Yeah. Way louder than was I expected. It soft? Definitely wasn't soft. How are so we doing, boys? You recording? Yeah. Oh, shit. oh yeah. What's up? How are, how are you? I'm lovely. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Cool. So you picked up a shift at work today? Yeah, dude. And ended up being later than you thought? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I, I was one of the last from the morning shift to get off. Fuck, fuck my job. I don't want to talk about my job. <laughs> yeah, I picked up shift, made good money, and I left like I like to. <laughs> nice. Boom. Yeah. I, yeah. What'd Where's you do today? Talk about your trip. We shouldn't oh. talk about work. Yeah. I agree. I worked today. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were off on weekends. Oh, Never. no, no. Oh, every Hence oh. the sad panda voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What are your days off then? Thursday, Friday. Uh, perfect. Yeah. I remember days off. Those were the days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need to not take a day off for a while because it's slow season, man. It's, business is cut in half. It's a pain in the ass, really. Yeah, Things it's pretty bad work. right now. Work. Everybody's feeling that. What do they call it? Shoulder right. season? Yeah. Why the fuck is that? What do they mean? I don't get <laughs> I thought about it all day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I've always heard it referred to, but it's just the slow season. Yeah, it's like. Why is it shoulder? I don't know, all man. Because right. they I'm shoulder checked the business out the way. Let's see if Google knows. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, business. <laughs> we actually had a lot of people at the uh, open mic on Thursday for how slow everybody seems to be. Yeah. Business wise. Well, yeah. People want to come to people want free entertainment, man. Hey, that's Google. true. No, they want to show up and not laugh. Why that's they call a that's what they call season a shoulder season. Sure. Let me get some more information Fuck you, so I can <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be cool. Go Sorry, on man. with your go on with your discussion on I have no idea what we were talking about. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We were I have to get my mind right. I haven't drank a beer or smoked any weed all day, so I'm gonna light this up and see. I'm I'm Let's coming see. off being sick, so I'm not. I'm just doing gonna smoke my own, own pipe. Thing? Cool. Oh yeah, but I bought I brought a uh, Dave Wilkley some weed. Oh nice. I didn't know Jason was gonna be here. I brought you some weed too. A, a gift? Mm-hmm. Oh really? Thanks, man. Just yeah. Brian didn't know I was gonna yeah. be here either. He can't just sell you weed up. on video, so yeah. No, that's why gift. I grow weed to give people <laughs> weed. <laughs> Dude, that's straight up. Well, that's, I, 
didn't oh, want to put it in six different baggies because I had different, different strains in yeah. here. Oh my god, dude! This makes my day, dude. Thank you. That's I'm dope. Just pay it forward. Brian oh. gave me some weed. Yep. That everybody gets a little. It's like weed. we're in. I need weed Taco Bell line. So I like Oprah up in this bitch. <laughs> I love that. You get alien. some weed. I do like giving my friends a little weed. Like, it makes me feel good. I thought I'm about not rich at all, but now no. I'm a little weed rich, and it's like, oh, I can give away a little bit of weed. Right. Yeah. That's what I've been doing to every all my friends that come over. have been coming over. I just leave, leave, send them with a few nugs. God damn it. It's the polite yeah, thing to do. Having problems over there. I really am, dude. All right. It's okay. I'm a little off myself. It's okay. Can't get this shit Actually, going. This Sunday. Are you, is your pipe empty can i pack it uh yeah here empty it in there or you can right. tell us about your trip and i'll empty it in there all right i mean it was it was it was actually pretty good uh it was actually perfect except for the first night when we flew out we flew into dallas uh airport and right when we landed apparently they switched our gate for our connecting flight and they didn't make any announcements nobody told us anything so we went down to the gate and they're like oh that your gate was moved. Your gate was moved to here, so we ran down there, and the plane had taken off already. Oh, so shit. we missed our flight. The next flight that we could get to, to Atlanta from Dallas was uh, at seven thirty the next morning. So we had to spend the night in the fucking airport. It was a pain in the ass, but it's the worst. It's what they didn't comp you. But that. Dude, should I have asked for that? No. Totally. I didn't know totally, to ask totally, for that. Totally should have gone down to the... My wife's the Jewish one. I blame her. <laughs> yeah. For, yeah. Not, for not doing that. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> gotta go down to the to the airline desk and be like, I hey, you guys... should have complained. Yeah, you fucked up my flight. They'll give you a free hotel room. And there was a goddamn Depends. hotel in the airport there, dude. So they can be cunty about it, though. They can be. They can be. Unless you're white and annoying, in which case then they'll just give you the coupon to make <laughs> you go away. <laughs> Hey, do you know which one, which of these is sativa dominant? Uh, That'd probably be better. There's the, uh, oh yeah, the sour sour diesel banana or sour banana. Sour whatever. banana kush? Yeah. Sweet. It's, I think it's sour diesel and banana kush. Dude, you did this really perfectly. Very fancy. It's, yeah, super fancy. <laughs> it's like old drug dealer status. <laughs> Sharpie lined out. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's definitely some shit I'd do when I was used to selling weed. It's perfect, dude. It's like a pill box. <laughs> Your <laughs> nugs, y'all's nugs came out so much better than mine. But honestly, even though, um, I don't know, I think they had maybe just finished curing. Like my ha- mine hadn't really this quite one's, finished I curing. I think that one's still kind of a little moist. It's, it's nice, though. God damn. It might be a little a little moist, but yeah, Perfect. I love weed. Yeah, I do Weed's too. Man. Fun. I it. It's fun so, to grow. It is, dude. I when I got back in town, I told Cat I was like, sometimes like every time I walked home or walked in my front door, I would always poke my head in the back the the side gate at my house just to check on the plants. And as soon as I came home and they weren't there, I was like, oh, kind of sad. I want to just always be checking on plants. <laughs> I just I liked it, dude. You can grow plants. I know I'm gonna do it inside when I move. It's a little. Sure. It's it's tough. Inside, inside. Is, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. You just, just, be so just be have worth to do it. it right. I mean, you can grow some weed, but it's not gonna be great. You get really airy buds if hmm. you don't have enough enough light, enough light, and well, light. yeah. But don't you just set a timer and no you need a certain amount of light you can't just put like a little lamp light over it no i know you just get you and, get the um, but you need something i mean for you need a big light yeah for one plant in a closet you need at least 400 watts yeah i know What's so up? i mean that's doable i, I want to throw in some watts phil all right all oh right. no we got this yeah yeah i don't if, grow i mean inside with the right equipment you could grow great weed inside in georgia you have to grow it inside totally. to get good weed yeah I mean, totally it's humid yeah, just so watch good. your just watch your power bill. That shit's gonna eat. And that's up. that's yeah. how people get caught in Georgia 400, too. Four hundred watts isn't that much. No, and that's all you need. I well, mean, it, it'll, I mean, it's definitely gonna raise your bill, but it's not. I mean, I run a thousand watt. I was gonna say I want a thousand pretty, watt light. You need at least five, like oh, a good five by five or four, by, at least four by four for a thousand Space? watt. That they get fucking hot, and you need to air cool it or you get, gotta flower them <laughs> early. Yeah. Yeah, because 
<laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> if you don't flower them in time, they're gonna get too fucking big, and they'll then uh-huh. they'll touch the light and uh, burn. They, they like the <laughs> thousand watts of light. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. They, they start flexing. I bet, dude. Just reach up towards the sun, grab that shit. Yeah. Exactly. Hell yeah. I bet this shit. I'm a I'm what a germaphobe, and I watched you <laughs> break that up on this dusty ass table. I know. I was like, I bet that tastes. <laughs> I want so good. I I uh, down who smokes ago. weed no, I, for the taste, though? <laughs> Just like booze, right? That does taste really good. I, I, I love good the job. taste. Does it? Yeah. It tastes super good. No, I noticed that, too. I saw a couple little hairs go into the bowl, and I'm like, I don't even care right now. I used to do that shit, too. I have kind of turned into a germaphobe. Seems realistic. It grosses Seems me good. out when, I don't know, Man. Touching, touching bathroom doorknobs oh, and stalls man. and stuff it freaks I'm, me I'm out. gross about bathroom shit anything you know bathroom anything i wash my hands and when people don't i'm like Ugh, fucking gross even if you take a piss and you leave the restroom there are some bathrooms that i would hands. rather not even touch the sink and like my dick's probably cleaner than the bathroom <laughs> itself so I, no doubt the yeah we've, we've, we've all been to the roadhouse, roadhouse yeah. <laughs> yeah. or pretty much any bathroom mm. my dick's cleaner than any bathroom dude that's what I'm saying. Sometimes I don't yeah. touch stuff. Clean as dick. Yeah. Yeah. Including the sink. Yeah. You grab a paper towel, open the door, throw it away on your way out. Peace. <coughs> well, then why don't you use a paper towel to turn on the sink? Because I don't need to wash my hands. <coughs> I don't want to touch the sink. <laughs> yeah, the paper towels might be bad, too. They're sitting That's in true. there and just soaking in. Soaking yeah. in the butt fumes. <laughs> butt fumes. <laughs> um, dude, do you remember? <coughs> there was like a long time ago. There was on Mythbusters. They uh, they did a bathroom <coughs> like study where uh, they left a toothbrush out to see if fecal matter would get onto it over time just from airborne, and it did. It, it, they got gr- everything got really gross. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, no, you, the, you gotta you gotta fucking put the seat down, man. What? You gotta oh, put down yeah, the yeah, lid because yeah, yeah, yeah. it was all about the lid, right? So they they were like, if it ha- doesn't have the lid down and you right. just flush, then you're gonna get shit everywhere, right? But, but either way, it's in it's unavoidable. Like for probably like two years, I put my toothbrush in a Ziploc bag every fucking night. <laughs> I was I was like so stupid about but it. It never dries off. I yeah, get, the, I you're get just kind like germaphobia too sometimes. But if you think about it, you're probably making a just, just a wet nice Jurassic Park. Tender. Probably made it worse. Environment. It has to dry <laughs> off. Yeah. Yeah. I used to some... keep my toothbrush in the shower, but now I have sulfur water, and I don't like to just in the shower. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, there is a lot of sulfur in the water out here. It's like showering in Satan's asshole. Yeah, it's fucking Wait, fantastic. My, I'm super used my well to it is now. not has, is not uh, sulfuric at all. It's really, right over there too. Nice. Every but, now and again, I just I turn on the shower and I'm like, turn it back off. Just like not right now. My aunt's house in Wyoming, their well water is like all their fucking dishes, their uh, metal silverware is like red. Uh-huh. And it's like it's so That's it's disgusting. got so much shit in in the well like and there's sinks and all their fucking bathrooms uh-huh. oh. it's all just covered in this red like film Dude, it and it just move. reeks like rotten eggs <laughs> it's time to move it's gross <laughs> that is a bad sign well, yeah. very that is time to move yeah. I, don't, I don't think they live there anymore actually okay so they, got they the still plan. own the house but they live in a different part of wyoming it's weird. They, it's like you drive ten minutes, fifteen minutes to go check the mail. Like fuck all that. You're just con- they're just driving four or five hours to them. Nothing. Fuck it's all that. Just, it's weird. I'm, I that's mean, how I f- that's how you get your kicks, I guess. People here do that. People go on the little Breckenridge for the night or whatever. Moab. I do have some friends that yeah, they're like, I'm it's going just... four hours tonight. <laughs> like really? Like yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'll come home tonight or tomorrow, but. Yeah, we used to kind of we used to be car. that way when we were going to Albuquerque. Three hours wasn't too much. The yeah, only time we were running I ever, a reason we were running a business. <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason we had to go. The only time I've done that recently was when they legalized marijuana in Colorado, and they didn't open any of the like legal dispensaries here in Durango. The first, le- the closest legal one that when it first went through was in Telluride, yep. and I was like, "All right, guess I'm driving a few hours and going to nice. Telluride. Gonna stay the night, wake up, go uh, go in." We did the same thing, up up, just for right. like a day trip because we had weed, but it was like I want to go buy legal weed, uh-huh. and it was just like this little hippie stand, basically. Uh-huh. Yeah, the first and a Chibachu was so or no, it was 
I don't remember what kind of edible, but it was so fucking expensive. Yeah. They were still selling like sixty dollar eights. And unpredictable. Jesus. Yeah. It was but, dank. It was grape god. It was really nice. But it was yeah, still like sixty bucks an eighth. That's pricey. But it's the only place in southern Colorado that had weed at the time. Right. It was Telluride. Yep. And uh, that's where you went, because you're gonna go where it is, right? Yeah. Definitely. If you if you don't have it. If you build it. I think we I was <clears throat> I was still getting it from New Mexico at that time. And it was coming from California. Man, I went up to Telluride, and those motherfuckers were smart because they had the chairlift on. It's like the middle of fucking July, and they still have the chairlift on. There's this haze of smoke going up this chairlift. It's like $20 for three circuits. It's just kind of like they know their audience. Huh. They know what the fuck is going on. Oh, well, yeah. You can go get on the ski lift at Purgatory if you want in the summer and just ride it. Uh-huh. Yeah, because people take bikes up there. Yeah. Do, do they still it. have the Alpine slide at Purgatory? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's dangerous as fuck. I worked on it. Oh, man. What? what is that again? I used to work there, and I used to know what this is. But what? What it, is the Alpine slide? It's like a it's summer like bobsled. It's like a plastic oh, car. Oh fuck that! With wheels on it. And you got brakes. And it's <laughs> five, it's a fiberglass slide. So you push forward to make the wheels go down, and you pull up to make the brakes go down. But if it rained at all, the brakes made it go slide. faster. Oh. Dude, if it rained at all, it's like ice. You need to oh stop. God. You need to get the get fuck off. out of it. Yeah. yeah, I remember having a good time when I was in middle school. Went down that shit, dude. As an adult, really? like, and we were competitive. When I say adult, like twenty-one years old, just yeah. get right, fucked right. up. It's an adult. No, twenty-three, twenty-three. You know, when crime has consequences, got it. <laughs> totally, but like. Weighing as much as I do on the Alpine slide, and we just get hammered and race. And there was a lot of pride, oh and God. it was the fastest of the day. You know <laughs> what I mean? That's pretty funny. So, like, people got fucked up all the time. <laughs> you can definitely fly out of that motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, Wearing God. a backpack is the move. You pull your elbows in and just lay on the backpack. There you go. It was the move. Because if your skin touched it, it was gone. Just, <laughs> whoosh, just burned. Ow. Is it fiberglass? Yeah. Slide? Yeah, dude. Yeah. No, and it yeah. burned sweaters, fucking jackets, whatever touched it for long enough was just gone. <laughs> just melt it to your skin. Oh my god, that would hurt so bad. It's I have this brutal. weird phobia of like fiberglass getting in my skin because when I was a kid, <laughs> that I is had a this, very weird phobia, bro. Like, but it's like that's some it's oil like cotton kid shit. It's like cotton being pulled apart, you know? Yeah. Like this, just the I don't know. I had this old dirt bike when I was a kid, and it had this a flag on it, mm. and it was like starting to become brittle. And I like, grabbed the flag and slid my oh, hand down it. Ah. And just all this fiberglass went uh, up into my hand. Then, yeah. And, all right. So and, you're scarred. Yeah, than, yeah. So just like, it's like cotton being pulled apart for me right. thinking about that. Uh, I hear you. Good old PTSD. I thought, you, I thought you were just born with the fear of fiberglass going into your skin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was innate on yeah. the genetic level. It skipped a generation. Oh my, God. my grandpa was terrified of fiberglass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't like snakes, that's for sure. But I had a snake. They still they freak me out. Wait, don't you still have a snake? Oh wait, mm. no, you have turtles. Yeah, it's fucking turtles. Anybody want a turtle? Turtles. Jason, roommates. Don't, they, don't they Man, I, I I wanted turtles, no, and really. I asked my landlady if I could move in like not conventional pets. I asked her if I could move in a turtle, and she's like, no, no pets. And I was like, but they're the perfect low maintenance fun pet. Yeah. They're not that low maintenance. No, definitely not. You have to have a fucking three hundred dollar pump pumping fucking shit constantly and heat rocks and all that other shit yeah i don't really need heat rocks you just need a place for them to bask and dry out and get like a, an actual nice lamp that they get the right uv light right stuff turtle talk but then they need uh, a <laughs> this is a new segment don't <laughs> green light weekend pocket this week turtle on turtle talk, talk. With Phil <laughs> they're still cunts <laughs> <laughs> i i still I wish they them. would die <laughs> They won't no. die. I'm a, no. I'm a, I'm a turn off the heat my in my house for like a week. My kids and probably gonna inherit Dude, them. You'd be surprised. They, they don't die. They, they live forever. They've been in cold conditions. Yeah, like the worst possible. And I, I got them when I was, or I got the first one when I was like 19, 18, or 20. <laughs> and how old are you now? Oh, uh, 30, what, 7, 36, no, I'm 29. <laughs> so nine years you've had it? Oh, yeah, God. they're One 10 of... years old. Jesus. <laughs> For sure. It's and not worth moving. It was in this little five-gallon tank with, like, this much water <laughs> one time for, like, two months. It was just, like, <laughs> shit water. It was, like, 
Like this thing's gonna die, and it never died. It oh was my just, god, man! I've never had a turtle last the winter. What the fuck are you talking about? Ten Monsters. years. Yeah. No, these motherfuckers are sturdy. <laughs> 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 They're living the life now. They've got they've got oh, all the flashbacks. I have a seventy five gallon tank for him now, and they're still getting too big for it. Wow. I'm gonna have to flood a basement eventually. <laughs> <laughs> These giant rocks walking just, around. Just take them down to the rec center, just throw them in the pool. Fucking yeah, be done are, with it. These are my support animals. <laughs> Get them some vest. <laughs> you know you can just order those right off Amazon. Yeah, you do not need turtle. it. Does no, you can just order. Then you could just make a big deal about it when they ask you for papers. Yeah, what do they call emotional support? You're really gonna animals? make me pull out my papers? I'm a, I'm gonna let Dude, you, you know. Dude, you don't have. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know. Working working at uh, Starbucks, we had to deal with that whole change in Colorado law, and uh, as long as it has the vest, all it, you can you can't say anything. Yeah, all you can ask is. Is that a service animal? And it <laughs> right. doesn't even matter if they have the vest or not. If they say if yes, they say there are no follow-up questions. Yeah, you take them at their so word. Basically, just people just bring their pets everywhere now. <laughs> to protect their. Oh feelings. God, yeah. Are you yeah. are you kidding? The homeless were great it's with good. with their dogs. Take Fantastic. Brody everywhere with me. <laughs> just barking at everybody. Is that a service animal? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, why, yes, it it's is. It's the least. <laughs> it's the least obedient service animal you'll ever meet. It's service animals are, are the shit, though. Does, you can when, tell when they're really service animals. When she's chill. freaking out, I'm calm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just soothing to me. She takes all the stress for me. <laughs> the barking keeps me asleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> she does bark a lot. I was ra- raised in a Russian prison camp. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of German shepherds. It's fucked up. What? They have those. That's true. They do. German shepherds? Yep. Russians? Probably. Probably. probably There's probably by a. Now. R- <laughs> <Are you serious? laughs> All of them. <laughs> do they have churros in Russia? Oh, callback. I don't call know back. if they have a sea, a sea world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do they have a sea world? Probably. <laughs> That's like a six episode callback right there, dude. Nailed that it. was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, that's why I had no fucking clue. Yeah. He's like, do they have churros in Russia? <laughs> Call back. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like, listen, I've I've smoked a little bit, but not nearly enough to remember when we were talking about churros in Russia like 20 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> oh, man. No, dude, we really were. No. no. <laughs> can't pull the wool over I my can't. eyes. Especially after you pointed out everything that you just said. <laughs> so, Dave, how was your trip? <laughs> now that we're back on It was good track. I went to Dallas airport Slept the night Came home That's, that's it That was my whole that's trip That's all you did mm-hmm. Just spent 500 bucks on tickets And didn't go anywhere No it was good man We went to <laughs> like, what? I don't know dude This so shit's kicking in horrible. bro This shit's kicking in We went uh, <laughs> Put it down <laughs> To Atlanta You gotta get serious here Dave <laughs> We don't have to I mean we don't have to <laughs> But we went to the, Atlanta like Visited family of- Dave. What? The saga of Dave. Oh, the saga of Dave. Sorry. I thought you were asking me something. I'm high too, man. I know. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a beautiful farm. So the Dallas airport was nice. Oh, it's my favorite airport in the I world. I hate it. The train. Somebody so told me. Some Yeah. Somebody told me the day before I left that every single time they go to Dallas airport, something goes wrong. Like a bag goes missing or whatever. And I just let that shit go in one year out the other. I don't listen to... I don't dwell on dwell on negative shit that other people experience. I just go hoping to have a good one myself. It's sure as shit, dude. Within five minutes of being at the airport, I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I and then so I immediately started getting drunk. I probably spent like two hundred bucks in the airport that night on drinks, and for me and Cat and oh, so expensive. The the the, the latest bar that was open closed at ten thirty. So and oh, we had Lord. all night like to Jesus. be there. Seems yeah. like a bad business plan. It was pretty rough, but it was cool. No, we actually watched some Netflix and some stand up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the airport's <clears throat> way more convenient now with smartphones than when I was traveling as a kid. Uh-huh. And there was you get stuck in an airport and they there's just have charging nothing stations to do. everywhere. Yeah, they do, man. Yeah, oh, it's man. awesome. There's just oh, speaking of people dude. huddled around. Do you one have a charging area. station anywhere? 
through your phone? <laughs> yeah. This isn't a fucking Hampton Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels like I mean, it. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at feels a... Like I'm it. looking at a... Oh, this like, is, that's a charging station. Like a power station. strip right there. Oh, there's yeah. a USB port right there. Oh, shit. Right behind Do the camera. Record? You, I don't... <laughs> God damn it, Dave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have asked if do, I did. Do you, do you want us to get right you the there. phone, too? Like, nah, shit, man. We can. We're can. really hoping you had just the USB part. I actually might have a cord. Okay. <laughs> I don't charge my phone. Nobody calls my dumb ass. What you talking so about? So why'd you, why'd you go on your trip? I don't know. Because I fucking didn't want to commit suicide. Yeah, well, that sounds good, nice. That's a good reason. This te- I, I had, we honestly know it's because we, we, we hadn't been... Uh, on vacation, like we went. Well, no, we went to California last year, but we hadn't seen like my brother, my sister, or any of her family on her side for about three years. Mm. And you know, and like our nephews are, like, like they're five and three now, and it's just crazy how big they are. And so, and then my my little sister had a, just had a baby. He's four months. Then her best friend, who she considers a sister, just had a baby. He's three weeks old. So we went and spent a lot of time with uh, all these people we hadn't seen in a while. We ate at a lot of good restaurants. Hell yeah. Um, ate a lot of good food. Got good, got some good home cooking, too. Fuck yeah. It was awesome, dude. That's good. It's weird, dude. Like, it's so, like, it was weird being back somewhere where, like, the cops aren't always bored. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I was driving around there, you know, with weed on me, and I felt more comfortable than driving around here, like with weed on me, because I'm afraid, like here, yeah, the weed I'd be fine with, but like they're crazy about weed DUIs or whatever they're called, yeah. and like they can, you know, they so can the weed UIs, up, yeah, and <laughs> the weed UIs, they can pretty much make it up now, and I think they will in a place like this, dude. Whereas, in, like in Florida. They Dude, one time my, me and my friend got into we rear-ended somebody. He was drunk. I was drunk and fucked up uh on painkillers because I had actually like hurt my ankle really bad. And uh and so cops come, start asking him questions and I'm just like being rude as fuck. Like I'm like Telling him, ah, you can't arrest me. I got a prescription for these." <laughs> <laughs> I went, and I was just nagging him. <laughs> and then he and then he looked at my friend. He's like, "You might want to tell your friend to shut up, bro." And and like and he was. And it, it was really mostly unfair to my friend because if anything, he would have been. But he let us go. He let us walk away from that a DUI car accident. The cops were like, "Just get out of here!" <laughs> like before I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, is like what in, he said. In the city, they got bigger shit he, to worry he, yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. They got like you know, like some dudes getting murdered so right now. That like, was nice. You know? City's starting to sound more appealing. <laughs> Man, it yeah. Sometimes. somebody's getting murdered. <laughs> <laughs> time for your ass. Like, is yeah. It's like people die, but so I yeah, it was like really at least nice. they won't care about me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was dope. What else? I don't know. We only. I mean, it was raining the whole fucking time we were in, in Florida every day. So I mean, Cat is like a freaking mermaid. So she needs the ocean and. We went, so we just added. <laughs> Sorry, I just said it was just in my head. What, what? It's like you're turning into a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> she touches the ocean. She's just finally like, free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't go with her. What part I don't of Florida? See that. Uh, we were we stayed in Boca. That's where her mom and brother and sister er, and my sister in law live. Is it was Gulf? Good, good to see you married West from side? West, uh, East Coast. East Coast. Yeah, it's just south of uh, Bo- uh, West Palm, which okay. is where we used to live. Yeah. It's warm, warm water. Oh, yeah, it was warm the whole time. The water's so warm, like in Miami when we were, yeah. we were there. Well, like compared to the Pacific. You, compared to the Animus, dude. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Compared like, to the Animus, for sure. I mean, for real. But the Pacific is colder, for sure. Yeah. A lot colder. It's like It was like bath water when we were there mm-hmm. in Miami. It was weird. Yeah, if you're used to the pacific or, or yeah the animus even the animus for real navajo lake that'll be that'll be a nice surprise it's like yeah. bath water at that point yeah. yeah i haven't been in a warm ocean for years when's the last one you were at like florida but well, there's two parts i mean there's two oceans well there's the gulf of mexico which is i think warmer than yes than the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm but very, yeah, I'm very it's, very surprised that the Gulf of Mexico is warmer than the Atlantic fucking ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. I bet they have churros there though. 
in the Gulf of Mexico, you betcha. For sure. Right in the right the floating on, along. Yeah. <laughs> boats. Just, I was about just to say. Someone just chucked them off a cruise boats. ship. It's over. <laughs> boats of churros. Fucking they don't even have a churros. captain. It's just all churros just on the boat, just floating for no reason. Churro Because it's Mexico. Because it's Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> kind of wish churros are more like fortune cookies and that they had a little wisdom inside them. You know? <laughs> I wouldn't call that wisdom in fortune <laughs> cookies. But it'd be fun to open up. Mm. There's a little bit of wisdom in there. What if every sometimes? There? Yeah, I know. I'm just joking. Hey, man, I wrote a I wrote a joke about a fortune cookie <coughs> actually having some wisdom. Yeah, sometimes stillness is more important than motion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, now. it's a good bit. Man, we got to figure out a way to do more bits, <laughs> to have more nights. Like, we need another fucking open mic. I agree. Like, this is just not cool, man. It's not enough. It's not enough practice. Like, that makes me want to move more than anything, you know? Yeah. Just being able to get up every yeah. night. If I could get up every night, I would strictly just wear day shifts, you know? And I would cut my income significantly to be able to do that. But, I mean. I don't know, man. It's not worth if it right you now. If you move to the right place, day shifts would be where it's at. Because well, at, right. at least on weekends with brunch, you're going to make some right. bank. I think in, the, in Denver, I think it will <laughs> I think there's some real insider that. knowledge there. No, he's no, <laughs> you're right. I, I am. Brunch? I he's 100 percent right. I am, not, I am not fucking with you. No, he's 100 percent right. Middle-aged white women and brunch. Trust me, mm-hmm. you will make money, dude. Because they're I, spending it. When I lived in West Palm Beach, I waited at this restaurant called Brio. It's like a like a pretty fancy Italian restaurant right downtown. And I cannot tell you how many fucking guys our age and younger like dated older women. Because the, the sugar mamas, dude. The brunch shift, they, huh? So, yeah, dude. And I, so they, they'd hit on us all the time. Me and my friends, like, I mean, yeah, it's for real. Just like let them buy you a car. Some some people did. Just 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 let me keep the lights off. That's all I ask. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's cougars everywhere. Just wear this bag, bitch. Out at the lake. <laughs> no, at. no. She's, she's buying me stuff. I'll let her keep the bag off. Ah. Just, you know, turn the lights down low. Then I can't Dim see them. you anyway. Because there, was, there was some cougars that, because I worked at Navajo Lake Marina as a gas dock hand. There's definitely you know, 16, some 17. Did you get hit on by them? All the time. Yeah, yeah. And you exactly. could get great tips. There was, uh, I worked the, uh, it was not like the super most romantic <laughs> thing, but I worked the shit pump barge. And you would go suck you shit. Sorry. You, you would suck shit out of boats. Mm-hmm. And this oh. lady's, this lady's, uh, <laughs> tank overflowed because they didn't get it pumped out in time did it go into the cabin yeah it was, oh, so it was in like the no. back the hole of the boat in the back engine compartment uh. and so we had to just stick the hose down there <laughs> and this bitch is like pulling she pulled her bathing suit over just enough so her nipple was coming out so she was like 57 uh. close to 60 <laughs> yeah but it's like big giant fake tits uh-huh. and just had her nipple out the whole time while we're me and I don't remember who it was. Just one other some guy. recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so did she look good, though? Dude. Like, yeah, it was a nice nipple. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, but it doesn't matter if it's a nice nipple. Face? At that, yeah, like, how about her face? Yeah. That's all that like, matters. How's the, how's the whole point? package here? He doesn't remember her face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's all that matters at that point. There's a nipple. nipple. I was yeah. 15, probably 15 or 16. Good point. Probably a nipple. No, she was could open cans. She was pretty hot for being 56, 57. How do you know her age? How do you know her age? Are you just guessing? Yeah. Okay. I and this was when I was 15 or 16, so she might have been like 35. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> just a rough 35. Yeah. <laughs> no, she was definitely older. Her husband was like 70. 83. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, at, at least at least he's got a good head start. Like, yeah. Hey, you want to die? Die first. Divertitalist. Well, I Unless mean. Unless it's young. I, I I I hope I'm not with anybody when I go out because I have absolutely fucking nothing to leave you. So, <laughs> man. so that's if gonna you're be... with the right person, that shit don't matter. Son. <laughs> I got there's turtles. Some, there's some fortune cookie wisdom. <laughs> I I'll I'll leave it all to your turtles. <laughs> Oh, so if you die, turtles. I don't want your fucking turtle. <laughs> well, it's in my will. Yeah, I was going to say, give Brian's it to him. <laughs> just right there. He just leaves him outside. Good luck. 
<laughs> See if you can handle that cold, <laughs> bitch. Brian, 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 you'll be Just like be 75 years it. old and they'll still be alive. <laughs> yeah, dude. They'll be <laughs> they live forever. It's fucked up. They can live like 40, 50 years. Did you That's what I, I I thought those were sea turtles though. Is that, are those? No, like sea turtles, I think live longer than that. Yeah, they yeah. live. They oh, live 100 like 150, years. 180 uh, years yeah. or something like that. Finding Nemo, right? Finding Nemo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched that, that on mushrooms once. Don't it was do it. Awesome. It was. It was like staring I, into a a fish tank size window I, into the ocean. <laughs> Dude, I have watched that tripping before. Yeah, so it was I amazing. Know. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's like. Cat's favorite movie ever. So there have been so many times it's just in the house and we're tripping. She's like, I'll put on whatever you I'll put on. I told her, put on whatever you want, dude. Oh, it's great. We still got to go camping. Yeah, I guess we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's getting fucking cold, man. Cold. You yeah. want to go camping right no, now? Not right now. Let's freeze let's, let's, to death while a bear no, eats you. Yeah, <laughs> You're just high on mushrooms. Yeah, yeah let's go out. It's <laughs> like, what, horrible. December? Oh, like, yeah. Fuck I, it. I wouldn't trip out in the woods anymore. What? Not even in the summer? In not at night. <laughs> Not at night. <laughs> <laughs> what, no, if we had, what if we had camper trailers that During locked? the day, I will. Yeah. Well, there's a, no, no, you said you won't do it anymore. So why? Oh, no, just because... I, no, here it's just because I'm terrified of the wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> really? And we don't have grizzly bears. I just, we I have just, little baby black bears. It's you not could... that I'm terrified of the wildlife. I just... That sounds pretty horrible to me to be in the dark... In some place I'm very unfamiliar well, with. Well, what if we start in the day and then you c- you're coming down when it gets dark? Dude, we're yeah. sitting around a camp campfire at night tripping. There's like I, some like it's yeah. some primitive, primitive shit. shit. I've yeah. done that. I've done that in Oregon. Yeah. Sees and uh, yes, yeah, he said Oregon. Well, what if we had a a couple of campers out there and you can go into a, a building that, that has a heater feel, and lights yeah. and you can put on TV for you. That would make, I don't need the TV, but that would make me feel well, we more could, comfortable. We could have Finding Nemo playing. <laughs> yeah, right. Just like go to the comfort zone. Yeah. And be tripping dude, out. That would make me feel more comfortable. Be Got a bathroom. You can shit, take a shower. Dude, are you serious? Totally. Dude, everybody it's should do that when they take shits. It's almost 2020, <laughs> man. <laughs> why would you? Everybody why should would, camp like that. No, I'm just that's kidding. That's not the point of camping. Exactly, exactly. The no, point that's of like, camping is oh. to remind yourself why you never go fucking camping. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, I but I'm, that. I, I, is, why can can't it, you enjoy nature so, and be comfortable? So you got a full blown Tom Haverford camping tent from Parks and Rec? Never mind. No. Never seen it. I have. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I don't have that kind of tent. I know. Right over I mean, my I mean, head. I, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. All right. Well, yeah. Phil's got a big ass camper. It's pretty Fuck dope. Fuck yeah. That's badass. Sweet. I have my camper. I lived in it, which was cool. <laughs> it was? It was It was awesome to have a place to live for a month while my ex moved out. Mm. That's it's. That's what, mostly what I'm excited <laughs> about having. It's a plan B. <laughs> Coel? <laughs> yeah. Plan B. <laughs> no, or just if we lose our house, the fucking house burns down, at least we... You got a second one. Grab, on, grab onto that bitch real quick. We have another sure. house. Oh, man. If that's my cool. house burns down, my neighbors are going to be pissed because <laughs> I live in an apartment. So. Mm, definitely go to jail for all that mess. Well, hey, hey, to stop cooking hey, meth at your house. Brian, I told you that in confidence. All right, My bad. Man. I didn't mean to say <laughs> that. He told you. everybody. You obviously <laughs> haven't been listening to our last podcast. Yeah, we've been talking about it for a while. What methamphetamine? <laughs> <laughs> And you Just specifically? Oh, it. Sp- me and my meth, right? Uh, it's like, yes. oh man, I got some great meth from Jason. Uh, <laughs> you, you know what's you know what's great is I would almost put money on my karma. One of my XPOs is listening to this when it when it comes out. Well, you said XPO, so doesn't matter. Yeah. Now they're now they're gonna be looking in my direction. That's again. like your ex girlfriend hearing that you're fucking somebody. It's not really something you should worry that about. I don't, that I don't care about. But, right. But but when my XPO hears about me committing possible crimes. <laughs> I have concerns. Okay. I highly <laughs> doubt your probation officer listens to the green light. Yeah, yeah, I highly <laughs> doubt it, too. Are you fucking kidding me? That dude couldn't pull the stick out of his ass with both hands and a goddamn pair of tongs. Well, if he wasn't coming after you, he is now. Yeah, he's like, well, now <laughs> I want to pursue this. No. Just as a disclaimer, Jason does not cook meth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I haven't been to his house. I don't know. Yeah, actually, good point. It's more of a shake and bake. <laughs> it is It is a small apartment across the street from an elementary school. Yeah, and he lives so, so close to the me. The perfect prob- cover. Yeah, <laughs> so it is the perfect <laughs> yeah. place to cook meth. Are you kidding? Yeah. Because in Cortez, I saw a meth house bust, and it was across the street from the elementary school. Oh, so, shit. <laughs> you know, apparently uh, elementary schools, they draw meth houses. What can you say? It carries a heftier fine for sure. Yeah, that's a dumb place to have a meth house. 
definitely more I mean, people care. To, to be fair, I think their planning capabilities were a little inhibited by the meth. Absolutely. Mm. Clearly, entrepreneurs just a bad business plan. <laughs> never, uh, never Elon really Musk, where are you? <laughs> never been interested in methamphetamine. In meth, no, me neither. But. I've probably done it before in some cocaine or no, ecstasy uh, that I've no, done. No, no, no. You, you, snorting meth is a mistake you only make once. Yeah, but it if it's mixed, like if it mixed, I've had bro. some cocaine that burnt like a motherfucker, and then I I was yeah, awake was for fucking meth, you're right. yeah. twelve yeah. hours. Th- th- there you that's go. The, that's the like main difference is it's like you can go to sleep on really good coke. If you do, is yeah, it exactly. like forty five minutes later, you can go to sleep yes. after you did a big fat line of good coke. But if you're still awake for five hours later, you're just like you nailed it. Can't stop reading books. I used to Do like you guys find that cocaine works better when you don't have any more? When like when I know they, what you mean. <laughs> when you Dude, pass, I know what you mean. When you pass like a homie you don't in have the night and they give you a bump. Totally. The first one. And then you leave and you don't have any more in your pocket. Yeah. There's no option for more cocaine. Right. It, it it's, works. It's liberating. It works it, great. It, it, yeah. yeah. But if bit, you have it in your pocket, you're like, I just, need more cocaine. You keep thinking about it, right? Yeah. I know exactly what All you want to do is cocaine. Yeah. When you have it. But then, dude. Yeah. Stupid. It's so stupid. And it's not even an option unless I'm drunk and then I'm like, sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a tool. Uh, it is a good idea. See, that's, a, that's another reason to move to the city, though, because all the coke out here is dog shit. Meth. I don't want motivation to <laughs> do more drugs. So <laughs> I'm going to move to people the city, move out but of the it's, city. Not, it's not because they have better drugs. That's not why I'm going there. That's why I'm going there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but tired of these country ass drugs <laughs> they are it's such garbage here dude, dude. it's so stepped on so here. bad well, it's not it's not a and, hub and, expi- and expensive too by the way like so expensive for what it is <sighs> like for what happens to you yeah garbage like you're not that dude you're not that high for what you can afford i, I used to get an eight know? ball in atlanta for 105 bucks holy shit jesus that's a lot of I That's mean, a lot for was, 105 bucks. Yeah, and it was good yeah. too. It was cheap, dude. I mean, but it was Atlanta's a hub, a big hub. Uh, oh yeah, dude. No, so, New Orleans. Really? New Orleans too. New, New Orleans. No <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I didn't co- hear him. I just had to like. A he hit. said no cocaine, but got or no churros, but cocaine. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cocaine's duh. in Absolutely. way higher so, demand than so, churros. So, so, so. <laughs> Not in Brian's mind, dude. He probably does do more churros than cocaine. <laughs> oh, no. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh. Yeah, the, the best Coke I ever had was in Denver. Like, it I'm was, sorry. It was so good. <laughs> you like, were I've San never. Francisco? Oh, New Orleans. New Is Orleans. Uh, no, San Francisco is trash. Uh, oh, San Francisco, oh. if you want X mushrooms, acid. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You're in the place to be. Yeah. If, if you want cocaine, though, you're gonna just not make a lot of good friends, and you're not uh, gonna get a lot of good shit. So. Right. Yeah. The the stuff I did in Denver was the only coke that made my two front teeth like go numb. Like somebody really like they were a tuning fork. Yeah. And somebody yeah. hit me, and it was like. It was the only time I've ever had that. That's great. And you get that little shake, a little bit. just. Mm. Yeah, and then mm. like an hour and a half later, we fucking fell asleep. Yeah. Like after we yeah. were done doing it. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Man, you saw, you see like, but. And it like, it, it was it, awful, like a rock like that size. Oh, but, Jesus. Yeah. I was I like, it. oh my God. I that thought it was suck. crack. I had never really done coke before. Oh, shit. And I thought like, because I've never seen, I in the movies, I just see a little bag of powder right you know right, and then yeah. this dude's like you want to do some cocaine and just brings this rock out and i'm like is that crack i don't think so no oh. I, yeah it is the hamptons <laughs> 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 room service when you hear your family <laughs> when you hear that is not their motto no that's well, that is somebody's <laughs> though when you hear olive your garden olive garden that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you definitely couldn't sleep there they're, they're going to kick you out at the Olive Garden? Yeah. Just like, no, but wouldn't you let your homeless friends sleep on the couch? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. I don't have any homeless friends. It depends on how, how recently they became homeless. Mm. And for, for sure. what reasons? For sure, yeah. If, a recent, if Brian became homeless, he could definitely sleep on my couch. Yeah, what if you're just like, <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude. You're homeless. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, here's, 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 here's the uh, line. Here's the fucking line. Yeah. You stepped over it, bro. Yeah. You lost well, your house. Here's the real question, though. Do not associate <laughs> with We're done. Don't talk to me anymore. 
Would any of you guys let Chris slip on your couch? Arnelli? I would. Really? I think I have. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, I think I have. I I'm afraid to let well Jadrian enough. sleep in I, my I used camper. To, I used to let a, uh, uh, you know, like, give him food all the time that I got extra from work. Oh, no, no, I, I, I tried, I, to, I tried I bumped, to look out for him, dude. Yeah, no, I, I bumped him smokes and shit. I just, I'm, I have a big thing about who I invite in personal my, space. Yeah, I who I invite I, into my personal actually, space. Actually, he wouldn't even fit on my couch. I think he slept on my floor one time. Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> dude, cat, I mean, cat to, doesn't fit on our couch. To, to be fair, David, you have a love seat. It is not a fucking That's couch. That's what I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm just used to saying couch. You're exactly right. It's a love seat. I have yeah, a love seat. Like too. this, this right here, That's this is a, a couch. couch. Yeah. Yeah, if you can't lay down and sleep on it, that's the fucking thing about Dallas that's Airport too. Futon. They put those bars in the middle of the chairs at the airport so you can't fucking <laughs> lay down. So I sat up all night basically. Yeah, I tried to man. I tried to get comfortable like like it's the uh, most uncomfortable place God, to be. I would, it, I would yeah. just fucking I would hate. just lie on the floor at that point cuz I, I have. have. Yeah. For sure. It's just I should have. Way better. I do I didn't cross my mind. That's weird. I know. Yeah. That's why I always so have a, weird. That's why I always have a backpack so I can roll it up. And How is I not? Even th- I'm a fucking idiot sometimes, man. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> hey, man being, like, being homeless, bad. you learn lots real of shit bad. that translates into the real world. Just yeah, fine. fair enough. How to conduct yourself at an airport, for example. <laughs> yeah, like how to, how to sleep fucking anywhere. Doesn't matter. Concrete, I don't give a shit. Linoleum, I got you. Dude, the airport's comfortable if you're homeless. Shit. Yeah, they just don't <laughs> let you in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who's yeah, gonna? Who's gonna? Who's gonna f- I mean, you could panhandle the cab fare, I guess, to get out there. <laughs> Plus, I mean, San Francisco, man, Bart. Yeah, Bart's homeless. Pretty comfy. Homeless is the closest to terrorist. <laughs> like, I, I can think of several, several closer groups. I think a taxi cab driver is. Cool. Yeah. What? But there's if they if they have papers. You heard me. What? I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> <laughs> You lost me with your hip young lingo there, dude. You heard me. What is this? Big Bubba Dick? Big Bubba Diesel. Big Bubba Dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's my own special strain, man. Does that uh, not, all right, does Big that Bubba not Dick. kind of look like it says Big Bubble Dick? Big Bubba Dick. Okay. I, I, I would know it, what it said. So. Kind of? Yeah, if you have big bad bubble, eyes. That's what I'm calling it anyway. <laughs> that right. Big Bubble Dick. I do not have the best of eyes. I have contacts in, but even still. No. You know what that means, David? Hmm. You can afford the optometrist. Yeah, I know. Oh, I, I also work hard, dude. Yeah, and, dude. and I mean, like, I don't know. When you get older, you start having to fucking do, do shit like that. Oh, oh, tell me about it, David. Yeah, tell me about it. I don't know. Well, I'm just saying for for me, dude. Like, I we, used to, we, we I the... used to, I would let myself go months and months at a time with no vision because I was just being fucking stupid. But now I'm like. It makes me uncomfortable, and the older I get, the less I want to do something that makes me uncomfortable. Hmm. Like, I, that's why I don't give a shit about camping or really snowboarding, whatever. Like, I mean, I mean, I could go and have a blast. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't be, like, negative. I would have fun. But I'm just, I choose not to put myself in situations that are going to make me uncomfortable. All the, like, at all? Really? I think a little discomfort's nope. not the I do stand up, bro. Yeah, well, it's about, of course. Yeah, it's about, I know, but... Like that Go was that shit. was the I biggest know, barrier man. for me. Like I mean, you just gotta look at stuff as an opportunity for a new joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now I do. Or getting lit uh, on fire. Now I do. You know, either or. Yeah, or getting eaten by a fucking bear. There are no bears out here that can eat you, David. You're bigger uh, than most of them. We'll take the dog. She'll tell us if oh, there's no, a bear. Fuck yeah. Like I said, Dude, I'll go with y'all. I'll go. I'll fucking fight a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, fi- I'll film it. We'll take yeah. Jason. Who needs a dog? Yeah, yeah, I will fuck that bear up because it's the... probably going to be some little five foot black bear that's not going to want to deal with anything and oh just my food. I'm nope. so excited for this to happen. Big bubble dick time. Yeah, I'll fight I'll a bear. I definitely want to see you wrestle a bear. <laughs> a little one. I'm not. Like, <laughs> if, if you guys fly down a fucking Kodiak and release it into the woods, and all of a sudden I see this 10 foot motherfucking bear. Yeah. I've seen some you don't have to worry pretty about that. big black bears. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I've seen area. like seven foot. But that's, I that's definitely wouldn't want to like box one of those bears. Yeah, the but they're, I've seen they out also. Falls Creek. They also. They they're scavengers. They don't fucking fight. They don't. Yeah. They don't I, hunt. I get it, but people have been killed. Yeah, yeah by 
poking a goddamn bear. <laughs> We're trying to fight it. I mean, I will, it, I'm, I'm just saying that as a Fuck last him. measure resort, I will fight a bear. Well, for All sure. Right? I, like, if, I'm, not, I'm not going to go down the like, bear, well, I'm not duh. I mean, what do you mean? Of course, last measure. You're saying... <laughs> Yeah, but you're I'm, not gonna go pick a fight with a bear no way like, you no, guys do acid no, I'm, I'm gonna fight that bear yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, you guys to, wanna smoke a bowl no I gotta fight a bear to be fair <laughs> depends on the size of the bear if I see a little bear I'm like you know I could pick a fight with a little bear <laughs> <laughs> and then the mama comes up and eats I'm not talking ass. about a goddamn cub what the hell are you saying like I know like if I see like a little fucking one foot one and a half foot bear I'm gonna be like oh that's a I'm cub gonna I'm gonna get the kick fuck it. out of here <laughs> boom oh my god Oh, no. That's quite the, quite yeah. the conversation that just took place. <laughs> yeah, let's well, come on, guys. You're telling me you've never wanted to fight a bear. See, my first thought was, no. I think, tell you, I've never absolutely to fight not ever. <laughs> oh man, I've shoot away I've a lot never of bears. Even wanted, I mean, I wanted to see one, but I didn't want to see one because I didn't want to be that close to one. I've but seen a lot. Have from... you gone to a zoo, David? Yeah, behind closed fences. But did, do they have bears? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but behind closed fences. That, that the zoo sense. animals are different. Yeah, I way guess. different than in the wild. I mean, I, I saw there was a black bear ridden through my garbage the other day, and I walked out there, and he was just kind of like, yep, <laughs> fuck all this. That motherfucker. Yeah. Well, no, he was just kind of like, yeah, fuck this. This seems like way too much effort right now. And he just waddled his fat ass off. Yeah, they're, off. they're usually pretty docile. They, they don't, don't want to fuck with you. Yeah, they just don't give a shit. They're like, I used hey. to see him every night in the alley I used to live in on 4th and 4th. <laughs> Those motherfuckers yeah. keep breaking And, and that was like the trails. first time, like I got used to them then. And that was like two, two summers ago. And now it's been, since it's been two years, I'm like kind of frightened again. I mean, <laughs> like I, I just hope I don't see one every night on the walk home. I haven't seen one this year. Didn't see one last year. The There's... first one I saw here was like over up in Animus Valley, Animus River Valley. And uh, it was... It was, I mean, I'm assuming it had to have been a black bear, but it was really light, light in color. Like it was like it yeah. looked like a brown bear, basically. I don't think it was. It was, but it was like seven feet. Like it was running across the street, and I've heard other people t- like that have seen that same bear. Right. Like it's a huge, grizzly looking like it's a major bear. town bear. But it's got to be. But it's up like uh, oh. oh wait, Animus. It's outside of town a little right. bit. Animus View. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of bears up there. I had a girlfriend that lived even a little north of there for a while, and like big bears. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was like huge. bigger than the bear we have in this neighborhood. You know. The the only thing I've seen aside from deer is a motherfucking badger. Badgers are gnarly. I haven't seen a badger. I was out smoking a cigarette last night, and I saw this goofy looking thing walking across the street, and I was like, "What is that?" What the f- and then for some reason in my mind, pop badger, and I googled badger, and I was like, "Oh, that's exactly I, what that I goofy looking thing." I have to Google it right now. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, up please. Right now. Never seen a badger. I don't think so. <laughs> or if I have, I just I told you I'm an idiot. They're related yeah, they, to wolverines. They look, they look kind of. St- Goofy like this. Are what? you fuck? That was on our street. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to move from doing no. <laughs> Damn, I mean, that thing looks vicious. I mean, he just kind of <laughs> fucked off and did his thing, man. Oh, he didn't give a shit. Yes. Oh, shit on that. That is not alright. Jason will f- fuck a badger up. I feel like <laughs> I mean that, an- that, an- that animal doesn't look like it would scare very easily. No, but I didn't. With it, it's kind of what like, they're known for. I, I looked at really? it, not back it. Down, yeah. and I was <laughs> like, worse hmm, and worse. Hmm, <laughs> What is that? I have no idea. Like, sure I'm, not gonna, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, yeah. yes, I'm 100% sure it wasn't a skunk because okay. it was enormous. How big was this thing? Like two and a half feet long, God maybe, maybe a yard, <laughs> <laughs> two and a half feet long, maybe it a was yard. so fucking big. That is huge. Well, I mean, a skunk's only like a foot. It's like the size of a cat. No, Maybe seen, a little I've bigger. Seen, I've seen big ass skunks yeah, in Georgia. Yeah, but also also the coloring of a badger is different. You just saw the picture. Yeah. Did I know. that look like that, a skunk? No, it didn't. And yeah. That, that yeah, one. easy mistake to make. Fucking badger looks like a skunk. Yeah. Okay. I was just checking. Nice <laughs> motherfucker. I've never seen a badger you around got, here. I've oh, seen a lot of oh, skunks. You just got oh, super oh, chest. Oh, I see raccoons oh, all the oh. time. What the fuck is that? That's a badger. Oh, yeah. Let me see it no, again. No, that is a badger. <laughs> yeah, that's a badger. 
This is fucking... But that's not a picture you took. That You Googled the badger. That's... Uh, let me see if I <laughs> still have that picture. Of course it's a fucking badger. No, I, <laughs> no I, I, I tried to take a picture of it, but it was dark as shit. My phone's busted as fuck. Let me see if I got it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You thought he was showing me a picture that he took this whole time? No, but he's like, does that look like a skull? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Obviously not. Oh, it looks like a goddamn badger. <laughs> that's what you Google. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I took a picture of it. Maybe. I said it may have been way too dark. Uh, I've seen. I saw a mountain lion this year driving. Fuck, really? Yeah, it crossed the road in front of me. <laughs> we I had lost, to grab my dog's tail. We lost Dave. Now I'll get him on the yep. acid trip. <laughs> yeah, he's what? like fuck, it's fucking mountain fuck lion? mountain lions. <laughs> Like I was, I was actually I was, I was, literally <laughs> gonna say I don't mind mountain lions. Really? Well, one time, dude, I got. If you can see them, that's pro- that's, that's a bad. good thing. Oh, it's good. Well, yeah. they, well, you, they're it's prick- when you don't see them is when, yeah. it's it's when you bad. It's when you hear them. I feel like one night I had to face <coughs> mountain lions head on, and I didn't get eaten, so I've been chill since then. Because I was uh, late at work, I was uh, getting dropped off at my house. I lived in Rafter J. Yeah. I lived seven minutes. Back after Jay oh, driving, fuck bad. And so what? What we would do? My my man, my bartender would like drive me. He lived past my house and past uh, after Jay on 141 or whatever it is. Mm. And so he would just drop me off. It was easy on his way. And so one night he dropped me. He went to drop me off, and um, Cat wasn't there yet. But I was like, it's cool, man. She'll be here any minute. And then I got out. And I waited like 10 minutes. I called her a couple times. She wasn't answering. I waited like 10, 15 minutes. And then I just fucking started walking. And I walked all the way to my house, two and a half miles in. between. It took me from 2.30 in the morning to about 4.30, 4.45. A good time. I was pretty, I was pissed. But I didn't get eaten by mountain lions. But I fucking knew they were watching me. <laughs> did you did you see him? I came head on with mountain lions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't what? see any. Did I? No, but I, I, didn't I could feel. <laughs> <them> <laughs> they were there. there. I couldn't I see could, anything. There was I could no s- light. I could sense the evil. How far eye. was this? That you had to walk two and a half miles. And there was no light, and it was partial gravel. I mean, you guys have probably been there after mm. Jay, right? Yeah. It was like all the way. You take the the main road that goes in. Until it turns to gravel, and then you make a left up a gravel road and go for another half mile. Oh, God. That's a a good little stroll in the dark. Yeah. At four in the morning with (laughs) only your phone light. That's all I had. Good times. Yeah, that that was pretty scary, actually. You're scared of camping? (laughs) I know. I thought, I don't know. If anything was going to happen, that would have been a good time for an animal to attack. I'm paranoid of animals, clearly. I didn't know this until I moved here. I have nightmares about them. Why? Because Brian saw a porcupine while we were tripping on acid. That fucked Dude, me up for a that'd minute. be awesome. <laughs> Porcupines are pretty cool. That would be so cool. But he was on acid, so he didn't know it was, it was a on a considerable time. amount of acid. Yeah. It, looked, it took some self examination to figure out it was a porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> that trip, we learned that you should definitely set up camp first before you eat acid. Yeah. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of issues with that trip. I, I don't know that. Oh, yeah, bring the poles to your tent. Yeah. <laughs> or you just have canvas. <laughs> <laughs> and my you buddy's like, I got the tent. And you know how much a tent weighs with no poles in the bags? <laughs> it's like a pair Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Yeah, and he just threw it in the tr- car, and I thought we were going <laughs> to get there, and he opens it, and he's like, there's no poles. <laughs> you Why did? You? No, it was our other roommate. Oh, okay, okay. So oh I, I had a tent. You guys should write a manual. <laughs> To teach people how to camp on hard how to camp on drugs as well. First, don't eat acid yeah, n- uh, yeah. until and, yeah. until and that's uh, that's step seven. That's dude. Right we'll after. make a video. That'll be the reason you go. We'll go get jokes out of it. Right. We'll make a how to do drugs and camp video. We could even be. We could even make a five minute skit. Totally. Cause that'd be fun. Well, we're gonna have like twelve hours uh. of fun, so we can do probably more than five minutes. Let's do 10. Shoot a series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot a series. Get a goddamn Dude, if we're tripping, it's going to feel like we are. We it's sh- all about dosage. Yeah, do a lot. Have you Exactly. <laughs> That's probably why you've had un- you uncomfortable experiences because you eat too I, much. I've never had. I've never felt uncomfortable tripping. No. I just, just don't want to go outside. I just, I, I just avoid places where I can't see animals coming at me. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty much as simple it, as that. It, if you eat enough acid, even in your house, would you be able to see the animals coming at you? <laughs> I don't know. Guess uh, I, I trip. Is real that is hard that is week. that why you guys don't have pets? No, that's not why. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> cat. Cat has a problem I, with killing things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ever think about that, dude. And... What about when I trip at home and I have an animal there? That's going to be weird. <laughs> dude, it's awesome. They're great. I know. I'm sure it's awesome. It's like added security. Yeah, my they dog knows just... that something's wrong with you. Yeah. Like, dude, you need to go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> she just stays by the front door just like, you stay in here, bro. <laughs> when that... we take walks, she's definitely like checking the perimeter. <laughs> Nice. She's the best She's a camping on drugs. Like oh, I bet. she stays right outside of the firelight and just uh-huh. lays down and keeps watch over everything. That's badass. When you whistle, you hear the caller. You're like, all right, that's good. Yeah, that's a good dog. And, until the time how you old whistle is she? And you don't hear the caller. She's like five. Oh, good. Four. Five. I have no idea. Five. <laughs> four. Somewhere around there. Four or five. Right on. It's lost time. It's about half dead. Not quite. I'm gonna right have there. a. I'm gonna have a baby next summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's congratulations. So dude, I heard the due date's 420. To, it is. That's weird. 420. Why is it weird? That's pretty cool. That's coincidental. That, <laughs> I, I didn't think that's it was all. coincidental. I thought that was straight out the mathematically universe. planned. Yeah. Just, like, no, he was sitting there. He's like, okay, so if, if she gets pregnant by. If I here, stick it no. to her on the and, 20th of July. And, like, the term <laughs> goes for the full. It's totally yeah. a funny coincidence. <laughs> that's all I meant by weird is just coincidental as fuck. That's crazy. It is. It's really, it really, it's surprise. really, really cool, dude. It was at the top of the Grand Canyon. Is it gonna bum you out if your baby's born on the nineteenth or the twenty-first? Yeah. It's because it's still <laughs> just like April. A little bit of love. It's still April twentieth. Oh yeah, <laughs> or twenty twenty. Ap- April of uh, twenty twenty. Oh, so yeah. it'll still be four twenty. Mm. That's what's up. If you no do matter what. like can, or like English dates, like the thirty-first of April of twenty twenty. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thirty-one full twenty. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to you take know a little less English acid. <laughs> I haven't a little actually, less acid. I haven't taken acid in a while. Me neither, dude. I used to take it a lot. Yeah, when, when it was around, that they, would, I yeah. couldn't like have acid in my freezer for an uh, like, extended amount of time. No, that's that's, that's actually some of my cocaine. favorite parts about hanging out with the homeless is they know where to get the good drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of time. Uh, I mean, yeah, dude. Well, that's probably a reason that they're homeless. Well, and the mental illness. I mean, a little bit of that. Wh- whatever. When you does add, it, does it does it matter? Really I, good drugs on top of mental illness. It usually. I j- I got all my acid through a guy who sold patches off the curb of Berkeley, and he had some primo shit. So <laughs> that's all I cared about. <laughs> all he did was sit there on that curb for. Ten we hours, pretty lucky with making denim patches. That's, that's it's like oh, hippie God. kids that had good connections. It's like little hippie kids. Yeah. Always hippies. Damn it, people that I felt comfortable with. Um, Never had super sketchy drug deals. Oh yeah, all the time. It was always usually pretty all pretty safe. Every single one I was ever involved with. <laughs> most of my, most of mine have not been safe. Yeah. Uh, Ugh. I don't know what it is, but something about my face screams narc, and they just kind of go like, I don't like you. I can see that. Yeah. I see it, too. <laughs> <laughs> you do have cop face. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. And if it if it wasn't for all the convictions, I may have been one. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do that? Could you just be like the training day cop, stealing people's drugs and no, I would Corrupt more like it, if, if I was going to be a cop, it would just be I, I really don't. I really just don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> like commit a commit a real crime and then I I might care. But uh, oh, you're shoplifting. Rape a baby. Whoa, Jesus. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. That, then I'm going to show up. All right. Yeah. Then 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 I'll then I'll be Johnny Law. But no, like if you're, you know, jaywalking. Get the fuck out Raping a baby is probably worse than murder. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yep. Dep- who'd you kill? Uh, all right, right. On, on this, I'm out. For sure. <laughs> like, I don't really want to be a part of the baby rape conversation. I don't want. Oh, my that's name where as- we draw the line. I don't uh, want my name attached to it. We, we found his line, guys. Now we know how to cross it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Go, go for yeah. it. I don't give a shit. No, I don't want to get in depth about baby raping. Why yeah. not? <laughs> I mean, there's well, there's work. just not there's just not a lot to work no, with. Now, I, I didn't even think twice about it. I wasn't even thinking we were going to talk about it. But now that he said he is uncomfortable, I really want to talk about it. 
You're gonna get yeah. It's, yeah but we shouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah I want. You I want, only. You can only go negative from here. Yeah, I really, <laughs> I really want Brian's podcast to succeed. I don't. I don't want them to be dredging up tweets from 20 years ago when he gets rich and famous off this comedy shit and be like, hey. You remember that podcast where you talked about raping babies? Oh, it's Phil's podcast, too. He won't be successful either. (laughs) This will burn us all. (laughs) Blacklisted together, baby. (laughs) Well, there we go. We can't end on baby, right? (laughs) Hey, no. What what color is the baby? What color is the baby? I'm really hoping hoping it's my color. (laughs) That that is... uh, no, I that was not the question he was asking. Nope. But I really appreciate your answer. The baby rape. Which, what color is the baby you're gonna rape? Oh. Oh Lord. That's <laughs> even darker. I don't want to yeah. talk about <laughs> raping. Yeah, it yeah, didn't we, it I was, work. It I was, had to click the first time. I was I thinking have that you were making. No, a, I, I just no. I, I really joke I about really my like, baby's color. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I really like that answer. Yeah, though. but your answer is awesome. <laughs> now, now that I understand the why you said it. <laughs> My, hopefully my color. <laughs> like that'd be the weirdest question, there's thing to say to someone that's pregnant. Like, what color's your baby? <laughs> I thought it was a weird question. <laughs> What's more? Is that weird. more weird? Or uh, what color is the baby that you're raping? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I that second you, one is way the weird. Origi- the way original weird. question was way more fucked up. Well, I watched me myself and I read last night. <laughs> right over my oh, head. Oh, yeah, my yes, God. let's let's talk about <laughs> shitty movies. Dude, that's <laughs> a that great movie. movie's awesome, bro. It's so good. Dude, I All like right. that movie a lot. And if Phil's babies turned out to be black, I hope that's exactly <laughs> how he would raise them. Uh, he, w- he, w- he, w- he was a good dude, though. He did raise those kids like they was his own. Because he, he was legitimately de- he thought was in they denial were. for a while. Oh, my God. Who has a better But if it's Asian, <laughs> if it's Asian, you got to kick it out. He's like, oh, my grandma was Italian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. One quarter, Todd. Yeah, it was a funny movie. I enjoyed it. What? I had to wait for my house to warm up, so I had to watch a movie in the living room. Wow. The oh, that's why you watched. The, I had no idea what you were real. saying for a minute. Huh. It's so it's that's why you I'm had to house. watch me, myself, and Irene. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, it was a filler movie. Uh, it's I funny, like to, for something like that. It was good. No, I enjoyed yeah. it. You have to watch movies you've never seen before while you're dreaming. No, you have Trimmy? to watch movies you have seen. Before. That's what I meant to oh, say. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, I want to get engrossed in this movie I haven't seen <laughs> while I'm trying to do all this trim work. Like, yeah. Po- <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't. It's not productive at all. Yeah. Counter. You know what ne- I meant. Next thing you know, you've just got yeah. popcorn in your hand and you smoked half of what you trimmed already. I fucking love popcorn. Now I kind of ma- want to make popcorn. Do you have popcorn? I do. Oh, shit. <laughs> If anyone has popcorn, it's Brian. I don't know. I only have popcorn because yeah, and like billions of other people. <laughs> Brian and billions. Do, do of other you people. have popcorn? Yeah, I have a whole bag of popcorn. I have popcorn. Am I the only Phil motherfucker who <laughs> doesn't <laughs> have popcorn? <laughs> Apparently, bro. Dude, it's the best munchie snack. And yeah, I make so it the great. old way in a pot with fucking butter and oh, olive oil. Oh, I don't. See, I'm gonna do that next time. I'm like your Italian ancestors. <laughs> One time we yeah. were watching the fights at my house and. I just like went and made popcorn real quick and brought it in and Brian was like, Do you just fucking make this popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> like in a pot? And I was like, Yeah. It was that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like <laughs> flabbergasted that I didn't pop it in the microwave. <laughs> I don't even think about stuff like that. Yeah. It was dank. <laughs> make, oh, that's hilarious. I've been so broke for so long just I just didn't have extra snacks and shit, you know what I mean? Like and I know that's a cheap way to eat popcorn, but I just and popcorn's already Didn't cheap. drink about snacks. How 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 much oil or whatever? Just coat it. Yeah, just like sprinkle it in there and put a decent amount of butter. And then just cut the bag open to see the no, no, I, I the kernels. I probably only use I don't know three quarters of the bottom of the pan with yeah. popcorn kernels. Okay. If you use too much, it'll just pop out of the fucking oh, right. thing, and then you cover it, and as it starts sizzling and popping, you just shake it around. Right. So it doesn't get stuck. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. We should do a YouTube video. <laughs> Making popcorn in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> right, you should write a manual. Yeah, it's gonna be very short. 
It's my kind of project. Yeah, dude. One page. Everybody <laughs> will read that book. I just don't. It'll be the most widely read book in the world. Doesn't seem like a really good use of my time at this moment. No, it doesn't sound like it'll take very long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could do something that takes <laughs> well, equally. Maybe it will do something take quick. It. Maybe it will. Throw, throw something together. <laughs> That's why I think a YouTube video. We could just make popcorn, film it, then we have popcorn. Then you can, popcorn you can get back to get your high. shit that you're doing. Yeah. When we do go camping and, and if we trip, we should make a video on how to trip in the woods. Totally. Yeah, something. I love that you're more and more open to this idea. Yeah. We're just and slowly breaking and, you and, into and the yeah. idea. Then you'll, but, you'll fight a bear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we gotta go in summer, so there's lots of bears. Or <laughs> I just want to go in this, summer. So I just made crazy. myself not want to go. <laughs> <laughs> just talk to yourself there, out of it. Yeah, there are not lots of bears in summer. Bears, bears become way more active. Are known to run in packs for sure. Yes, cool. Like there, you hit a pack of bears, you're <laughs> fucked. <Yeah. man. laughs> uh, we each fight one. You can get in, get into it, a herd of bears. <laughs> yeah, you know, thirty a, a, or forty a, a, of those motherfuckers. A, a, real, a real goddamn of pod of those motherfuckers, right there. <laughs> a a, a of murder bears. of bears. A murder of bears. A jism of bears. What? A jism. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with that. Yeah, a, a jism. Jesus what time is it? I gotta go cook steak. Six twenty-five. I've probably six twenty-five. How long has this been recording? I'm blind. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we know. That's why you have the glasses. Oh, uh, we're over an hour. So we're good. Cool. Whatever. Awesome. Yeah, whatever. I want to go watch the World Series. Quick and dirty. Oh yeah, yeah. you like that boring ass fucking sport? I do. Who are you boring. rooting for? It's not boring. Live. Man, I'm kind of. <laughs> Like I, I don't really I'm, I'm a Braves fan So I mean I just But I guess the Astros Alright There you go Yeah And they just tied up the series So it's This game's gonna be exciting Nice For me and Not any of you I'll go well, for the Astros Yeah um, Fuck yeah Yeah you Ooh, got Houston because, uh, real folk Yeah That's the only reason yeah. I don't know anything else That's all it takes nah. Yeah If you don't care That's enough to and I've only been to Houston head. Like twice Nice <laughs> I've right. flown through. Uh, you guys got anything you want to plug? Nope. At Davo Laps on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Goddamn thing. Jason does absolutely nothing. Come see us at the ranch every Thursday. Dave will be yeah. hosting. Uh, Jason's always there. We'll be at the Roost sometimes on Wednesdays too. Yeah. Yeah. Support local Little comedy more. wherever you are, especially if it's free and there's two dollar pints. For real no though. No reason not to. Right Phil, on. you want to tell them where to find us? Chill. I got high and drunk. Sorry. At GLW. I was hitting the ball. And <laughs> you guys got to smoke this big Bubba dick. Okay. <laughs> that was a cool ass sentence. Okay. You got to smoke this big Bubba dick. Sounds like something that I mean, you'd say in prison. But yeah. Sounds like something I'd say at home. You can find us at <laughs> GLW kidding. underscore podcast on Instagram. Yep. Greenlight Weekend on YouTube. And Facebook. Yep. And, uh, I'm on Greenlight Instagram Weekend. at bigbubbadick.com. <laughs> <laughs> Greenlightweekend at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, be sure to check out the Whiskey Real podcast if you're in Durango and yeah. marketing. Uh, Sean Moe is a good friend of ours. We're going to have him on soon, but if you want to support him, that's how you do I it. I just listened to one for the first time, and I really liked it. Nice. The other day. Uh, yeah, come see us on Thursdays. We will see you next week, hopefully, with a new guest. Thank you for listening. Phil. Bye, Bye guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Let me tell you something real quick. Flipping through the pages of a notebook, dope puts old school shit, get your dome shook, no luck. For you, can you feel what I'm saying? Rhyme slinging, uh huh, beat banging from the pavement to the backwoods. Put your hands down if you're trying to act hood. I don't care about your steeds or how you be swagging. Punks moving backwards, I'm sitting back laughing, laughing. Like, what happened to the real? I be with that hip hop plus a hot meal. Saying, This is why you ain't, this is why you ain't, this is why, this is why you never will be great. Man, come on, for goodness sake, never have to brag a boast. My verses do the walking and you talking like a joke. Tied it on your throw well i think your ink swag i'm shitting on you bitches yeah this my stink rap rock a bright pink cap and some lime green pants yeah. smack your mama's yeah. ass what yeah. you think about that yo yeah. i'ma bring it back with a cool 32 yeah. hustle yeah. lava lyrics dropping right on top your crew it's going to be rough like it's about to blow oh. i don't give a fuck y'all already know i'm running for my life that's right i'm motivated won't stop till i'm on top elevated you're gonna do it son my mama be telling me 
Please stay away from drugs and don't be catching felonies. Nah, never. Nah, Just for the record, man, I'd rather sell a record. And you know that I've always loved being under pressure. Yeah, I get that money talking, saying be patient. Big money, honey, opportunity creating. It's so basic. Bring it to your faces. Ain't no way I'll ever let nobody tell me that I ain't sick. Not a challenge that I couldn't hang with. Put your test to rest, guarantee you I will ace it. Haters still hating, people still painting. When they hear this shit, bang on every block and every basin. Speaking of the devil, get up on my level. We on the base in trouble, we gon' do this shit forever. And them ponies need to step up, I don't think that they could catch up. We mash them like tomatoes, good on pretty much whatever. Honestly, I'm in no need of any extra flavor. Any time of day, I get popping like bacon. What you thinking? We munching every beat. Got the bounce down version playing in the back seat. Let me put it this way. Loving this life. Get up on stage, drum bass, one mic every night. New place, same name on the dough. You rush into the show, fighting for the front row. Yo, I don't give a hoe. Anything too nice. Nintendo 6 4 got the game up in the vice. That's right, you bitch. You ain't playing like this. That's a bet. And I'm betting that I strike rich, pot of gold type shit. I'm point five I rich, dark brown iris and long eyelashes. Man, I'm so damn handsome. Young bucks banyan, girls hanging around my neck like backstage lanyards. Best in my bastard, I'm killing all of them bastards. But thinking trip ain't the master. Just go lie down in the pasture, call up your pastor and ask him what's going to happen after. Swing, swing, better, better. You cannot defeat my chatter, get it? Hey, better, better. Tell me why you playing little league? If you still can see them, maybe you should be climbing trees. I'm number one, came straight out of 91 Having fun, spitting like guns Alright, I'm done, done.